Hey, this is Greg, and it was just announced that Canva has acquired the graphic design and photo editing software company Affinity. So as a Canva instructor, I thought I would jump on here and share my thoughts about this. All right, so, so when I first got into teaching Canva, it was also as someone who came into it with a love of Photoshop. So I consider myself both sort of a techie nerd and then also someone who appreciated the simplicity of Canva. Uh, when I first went to learn Canva, I thought there's no way I'm going to like this program just because I, I was a little bit of a snob in terms of like really loving Photoshop and those advanced features and anything that was sort of techie uh, was sort of in my wheelhouse. But then when I started to use Canva, it was really the ease of use of Canva that really kept me going back for certain tasks. And so then I started using uh, Photoshop and lots of the Adobe tools in concert with Canva and for different purposes. Uh, so I never really saw Canva as a direct competitor of sort of, you know, Photoshop and some of those other tools that are sort of more advanced in terms of the features they offer. And even with this latest acquisition, I think I still basically feel this way. Now, does acquiring Affinity, which is seen more of a direct competitor with the Adobe suite, does that make Canva sort of more a direct competitor with Photoshop? Sure, to a degree it does. Uh, and I think this does mean that they are going to start to now try to draw in sort of higher level designers, people that aren't beginners. Uh, but at the same time, I do feel like the it's the simplicity of Canva. It's really that user interface uh, that sort of acts the way you expect it to, uh, that doesn't get overly cluttered, uh, that really draws people into Canva. So it's one of those things where I'm excited to see what possible integrations uh, might occur uh, in terms of bringing Affinity uh, tools into Canva. And I think we can be excited about that. So I'm excited about potentially some of those features now where I jump into Photoshop or I jump into something like Photopea, which is a free online editor, uh, to do some of the things Canva's bad at, maybe we'll start to see some of those tools make their way into Canva itself. However, I don't expect Canva itself to suddenly, you know, ramp up the complexity uh, and become something that's sort of directly uh, adjacent to Photoshop, because I think if I do, if they do that, I think they're making a mistake. I think they're going to lose sort of their their mass appeal of being this software that's easy to use. So I am hopeful we're going to start to get some slightly more advanced features, and they're going to start to fill in some of those gaps uh, where right now they have some tools that don't quite do everything you'd hope they'd do. Uh, but I don't think they're going to stop appealing to the everyday designer, right? I still think they're going to prioritize that ease of use. They're going to prioritize the everyday designer. Just now, maybe, hopefully, we'll get a few more tools so they can start to draw in some more advanced designers and build up their customer base that way. Now, for Affinity, I think this is a good thing for Affinity, too, because I heard a lot of people from Affinity after this acquisition say, hey, they're excited because suddenly now there's a lot bigger budget behind them. And so some of the changes they're hoping to make, some of the improvements they're hoping to make within that Infinity software, they think that can happen a lot faster now because suddenly they have all this money behind them. Suddenly they have a much bigger budget. Okay. So I'll have to wait and see how this all plays out. But in general, I think this is a very good thing. So I don't think this acquisition means that I'm suddenly going to stop using the Adobe software. Uh, doesn't mean I'm going to stop using the Canvas software. I love things about the Adobe software and I love things about the Canvas software. They both help me in my workflow. So I think for you as a consumer, that really is the question. I think it's important to be aware of the different software options out there to sort of get to know them a little bit, at least to the point where you can figure out what is the right fit for you, because that's really the key. What allows you to reach your goals, to accomplish the tasks that you need to accomplish, and what allows you to do that efficiently, because of course time is the most important important resource we all share. And so we want to be able to have an efficient workflow. And so then of course, Canva and Adobe as companies, they have their mission statements, they have their goals, they're trying to make their user base happy. So Canva's mission statement has always been to empower the world to design. And I think they're off to a great start by sort of appealing to sort of, you know, everyday users. But now with this new acquisition, I'm excited about it. I think maybe it does allow them to bring, you know, a higher level of tools into their software that maybe starts to appeal to some, uh, higher level designers as well. So we'll have to wait and see how this plays out, but I'm excited to watch and see the changes that take place. And hopefully Canva still remains that everyday, easy to use tool that we all love. Okay, thanks for watching. You can check out this channel if you want other Canva tutorials, and I will talk to you soon.